Hi Anibis! I'm back with another vlog and finally I'll be revealing my new mini studio for you! I've been uploading many teasers on my stories because I was so excited and after two months it's finally done! Before I reveal it to you, let's look back on how this mini studio was made! Let's meet my engineer for this dream mini studio. It's my boyfriend Paula! This is the initial plan before the project started and I was so excited seeing this and I can't wait for you to see the final look of the studio. This is the area that will be renovated and made into a studio. This was the space for my clothes where I made my closet tour last time. I decided to have this mini studio built because first, it's my dream to have this kind of studio. Second, I want an area where I can do all of my contents or videos from preparation to filming to editing. I had this idea that every corner of the studio should be good for filming or should have that aesthetic that will look good on the camera. It wasn't an easy process of course. Construction always have these problems from materials to labor and time. But thanks to Paolo, this project was done with quality and on the expected time. This is how the studio looked like polished. Amazing right? So white. But still we need to do the whole interior and setup. Now meet the person behind the interior, it's Paula! Paula is Paolo's sister and she's very talented and creative with these kind of stuff and I'm so grateful that I have her to help me with the design. So this is the color palette. She made this concept or mood board. Then these are all of her drawings. So pretty, right? This is exactly what I wanted the studio to look like. And she did amazing with this. So let's go and let's set up the studio. We first set up the vanity area and I bought these drawers from IKEA. I had it delivered. These drawers are so high quality and even though we were sick during this time, we had fun assembling it. And now we're putting all of my makeup inside these drawers. And for the centerpiece of the studio, it's this customized cabinet with neon lights of my name, Inabi. And of course, this gorgeous pink sofa that will complement the cabinet. Fixing the side table. And thank you, Paula, for these beautiful candles, which smell so good. Check out Wood Quirks for more of these and K-pop inspired candles. Let's light up my name. Wow. Paula's painting this shelf because there is no gold shelf available near us so we need this black shelf painted this time we're almost done paula is just putting some finishing pieces to complete the look of the vlogging area And also, shout out to Team Bang Professional Cleaning Services for cleaning my studio thoroughly. Yay! It's amazing, right? The process in making the studio was a great experience. And are you ready? 
for the reveal of my new studio. But before that, I have a new channel, Ina Behind the Cam. And I made this new channel for my honeybees to get to know me behind the camera. Not just Ina B, the dancer, but also my life. And I want to share to you more things about me, not just about dancing. So be sure to subscribe here and you'll get more vlogs like this in the future and all of the behind the scenes will be uploaded there so this is now for you we will have the studio reveal let's go welcome to my mini studio as soon as you enter you will see this beautiful vlogging area most of my vlogs will be now done here Here's all of my play buttons. I have three, two for Ina B and one for Giovanna Studio. And that beautiful neon light, K-pop albums, wood quirk scandal, and then my merch displayed here. And then on the other side is the shelf. My merch again, earrings, keychain and some K-pop albums and light stick so pretty and here is the area where I film my dance covers the white wall and here are the lights Yes, we have a lot of lighting and here are the switches for the lights. Now we're on to the vanity area. Here are some of my makeup. I'll do a separate video for my vanity area. Let's go to the mirror. So this area is where I practice. I have enough space for me to practice and of course a super big mirror where I can see myself dancing. And here's the area. And of course a TV so that I'll have a bigger screen to follow the steps for my K-pop covers and some gloves and accessories and shoes that I often wear. So here's how this area looks like. And let's take another look at the whole studio. Wow, it feels amazing that I'm ending my video here in my mini studio. I'm so happy on how this mini studio has turned out. And this is my dream to have a studio like this. So one of my dreams has come true. Thank you to all the people who have supported me without you, my honeybees. And to all the people who believed in me, I wouldn't be here now sitting in my new studio. And I'm so excited and can't wait to make so many, many more quality content and videos for you here. So that's all for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, honeybees. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Ina Behind the Cab. Subscribe now! See you on my next vlog here. Bye, honeybees!